So basically every week I hear from a bunch of different men in particular who are struggling with their energy, anxiety, burnout, and a lot of them are saying things like, I just can't seem to stop pushing, even though I don't have the, the energy there. I'm worried about what will happen if I stop. I'm worried about what my co-founders will think, or I'm worried about that my boss will lose faith in me. And, or even things like, I just don't know another way. <laughs> I just don't know how to, how to do it, right? Don't know another way of going through life. Yet so many of us are going through life with this, this grit, this sort of go, go, go mechanism, just firing on, on all cylinders. And it's hard to even admit to ourselves, let alone others, that we're just feeling absolutely depleted. So I've been there myself. If you've been following along on this channel and social media, um, I went through an epic burnout years ago. I ended up three years bed bound with chronic Lyme disease. And I'm gonna tell you guys the same thing that I tell these, these other guys and everyone in our reorigin program, which is that sometimes we have to surrender the battle in order to win the war. I know this is a really counterintuitive approach because especially I would say for, for men, it's really ingrained to wanna to push our way through and to even be rewarded for the harder we push, right? And the less we sleep. But this issue I've realized has gotten beyond just lack of sleep. What we're seeing is really an epidemic of things like depletion, depression, anxiety, and even diagnosed chronic conditions like chronic fatigue syndrome, sensitivities, chronic pain. And a lot of these are actually brought on by our inability, I'll say, or not inability, but challenge that we have of downshifting, downregulating, and disengaging those mechanisms. So if this is you, I just want to let you know that you're not alone in this department. There's a lot of guys who are experiencing the same thing, a lot of people who are experiencing the same thing. And most importantly, there is definitely a way out. This can be retrained. It just has to start with taking a little bit of a different approach. And so I want you to know two things. Number one, it's okay. If you're experiencing this, if you're feeling like you just can't let off the gas, it's okay. And number two, when you learn how to let off the gas, and I can promise you, I'm telling you this from personal experience, your feet will start making contact with the surface, with the ground, in ways that will lead to traction and forward motion that allow you to move forward without the mechanism of exertion. And I know this sounds like a bold claim, right? To just be able to truly woo way or effortless action our way through lives. But there is another way. There is another approach. And if you're interested to find out more, a great place to start is our YouTube channel or check out reorigin.com to see our program.